What's up, guys? <laughs> Let's go back in time. Remember after the BJP and Yair Rodriguez fight? I asked why would the UFC book old legend BJ against a young top 10 ranked stud like Yair Rodriguez? And let's go back a few days ago when I talked about the Conor McGregor sparring video with who appeared to be Artem Lobov. And on that video, I said that Artem was one of the worst fighters in the UFC, in my opinion. Okay. News broke over the weekend that a fight has been booked in the near future. A headlining card. <laughs> or I should say a card, a card headlined by fourth rank veteran Cub Swanson against a guy who I said was one of the worst fighters in the UFC, Artem Lobov. When I saw that fight on my TV screen, I literally laughed out loud. Why? Because it's a mismatch and, as I like to say, it's easy money. And yesterday, I was looking at videos, looking at the fallout from UFC 208, seeing what people had to say and stuff. And I can't remember what video I heard it on. Uh, it may, maybe it was the uh, the post show by MMA Fighting. I don't know. But somebody made the comment that some fans are saying that they now miss. Joe Silva and that they now see how valuable they were or he how valuable he was when it came to making fights uh, as a result of the Cubs Swanson Artem Lobov fight and people are questioning why they're getting such fights and it hit me the light bulb went off if I was not holding my phone doing this video I would give the new matchmakers Sean Shelby and Mick Maynard a large round of applause I want to thank these guys they are booking and making fights that gamblers like myself and I'm sure some of you watching this video we should love we should be thanking these guys they are giving us easy money fights I mean, think about it. Yair Rodriguez and BJ Penn. That was easy money. I call that shit. I mean, that, that was, it was easy money. You know, the hell. Like I said in, in, in my post fight video, Yair Rodriguez should have been a minus 1,000 favorite over BJ Penn. Okay, on the money line, it opened up at like a minus 367. That was a deal. In hindsight, that was a deal. You know, and uh, I think it went up to almost as close as a, a five to one favorite. That was still a deal, considering what what the fight was. Okay, we have a fight coming up, which I'm gonna do a separate video on the Sarah McMahon. Uh, I forget. I think Leah Carmouche was gonna fight, and they grabbed a girl who she opened up as as like a minus three eighty five favorite over this girl. When in fact she should probably open up as a minus seven hundred favorite over this girl. You know, I mean, they are they are giving us great money making opportunities. And now we have this Cub Swanson Artem Lobov fight, man. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, look, I, I, I'm not even going to try to justify as why they're making this fight. I'm just going to say thank you. I don't know what the odds are going to be, but I cannot wait to see them. Because I'm pretty sure Cub would be a nice, sizable favorite. Uh, I would think at a minimum, uh, minus 400. Uh, 
you know, it, 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 it could be higher. But I'm thinking at, at the best case scenario, we could get a minus 400 uh, for Cub Swanson in this fight. If it's anything lower, that's a damn deal. Hell, minus 400 is a deal, you know. In a five-round fight, you know, I'm not even going to deal with the prop, you know. Cub should finish Artem, but, you know, and I don't know how, how many times Artem has been finished in, in his career. I need to look that up. Uh, if, if it's been a high number of times, then playing the distance prop would be worth it. But I'm telling you, I'll, ta I'll take a minus 400, minus 500. I doubt he'll be minus 600. I doubt it'll be that high hell. Uh, even Jockery was not a minus. Was he was a minus 500 over Boach. So if it's in the if it's in the minus 400, to minus 500 range, I will take that shit and parlay it with something nice. And put a nice chunk of money on it and, and 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 cash out, man. You know these guys are giving us great money making opportunities, man. So I just wanted to, to make this video to praise these guys. Do not criticize these guys. Be thankful for these guys. Be thankful for these matchups. They are giving us great opportunities, man. You know. Hey, I love it. I absolutely love it. Hell, I ain't hopping on these pick'em fights, man. I'm hopping on the shit that's going to make money. You know, the damn, the guaranteed winners, the shit that I feel is money in the bank. You know, mismatches in my opinion. And Cub Swanson against Artem Lobov. You know, if Cub Swanson loses this fight, he needs to retire. Plain and simple, he needs to retire. You know, so I just wanted to make this video, man, because I, you know, after hearing those, those comments about you know, the mismatches and why we getting this fight and all this kind of stuff. You know, I started putting two and two together. I'm thinking we getting all these kind of, you know, sort of, you know, lopsided fights. The, you know, Jacare Tim Boach fight. We getting, you know, Sarah McMahon against this uh, Mazzani, whatever her name is. We getting, uh, you know, Yair and BJ. And now we getting this uh, Cub Swanson, Artem Lobov. Hell, thank you guys. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. They are doing the gambling community a favor. So, I just wanted to say that, man. And uh, I'll be checking in with you guys soon. Take care.